Hi, this is Mrs. A of Math A Matic. Today, you're going to learn about how to determine between what two integers the square root of a number is. Perfect squares are rational numbers obtained by multiplying a number by itself. So I have here numbers from 1 to 10, and getting the square of this numbers, the results here are all perfect squares. So it means 2 squared, that is 4, 3 squared, that is 9, so or 5 times 5, that is 25. If we're going to continue here, so you just uh, add more numbers here, 11, 12, then you will get the perfect squares. Now, another way of asking here is, what is the square root of a number? So what is the square root of 1? The answer is 1. What is the square root of 4? Means what is the square root of 4? The answer is 2. What is the square root of 9? The answer is 3. The square root of 16 is 4. So we're just going to focus on the principal uh, root, which means the positive square root. Okay, so now you're asking for the square root, which means that you're looking for the number that if we're going to multiply to itself, the result is the number inside the radical sign. So now we're just going to focus on the positive square root or what we call uh, principal root. So principal root is the positive square root of a number if it can be rational or irrational numbers. Okay, so now these are the uh, tables for perfect squares. So perfect squares, we have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. These are now perfect squares. So if we're going to get the square root example, square root of 49, that is equal to 7. And these numbers now, these are uh, square root of 49, square root of a perfect square, are what we call rational numbers. So what about if... Or what about those numbers that are not perfect squares, like 2, 3, 5, 7, 10, 11, 12? They are non-perfect squares. So what we can do is only estimate the square root of this, or we can find uh, the two integers wherein this uh, square root of non-perfect square lies. Okay? So, because here, if you're going to use calculator, the square root of 2 is 1.4142, and so on and so forth. Actually, it's no ending here. That's why this kind of number is what we call irrational numbers. The square roots of the numbers that are not perfect square are what we call irrational numbers. Okay, so now, we're just going to... Uh, find the square root of a non-perfect square. So, but we need to memorize also, you need to learn what are perfect squares. So I have here for your reference and example, we're going to find the square root of 5. So you need to know which uh, two perfect squares this square root of 5 lies between what two perfect squares. So you need to check for the perfect square before and after. So square root of 5 is between square root of 4 and square root of 9. And get the square root of 4, that is 2. And then square root of 9, that is 3. Which means that square root of 5 is between 2 and 3. Another example, between what two consecutive integers does 50, square root of 50 lie? So that is now square root of 50 is between square root of 49 and square root of 64. And get the square root of 49 and square root of 64, that is 7 and 8. So means that square root of 50 is between 7 and 8. So that's how you're going to find the or estimate the square root of non-perfect square. So I want you now to give the principal root of the following, which means give the square root, the positive square root. And then here also,
between which two integers do the following square roots lie? So I have here five numbers. Okay, so number one, we have between two and three. For number two, we have six between six and seven. For number three, square root of 85 is between nine and 10. And for number four, between num uh, eight and nine, and square root of 200 is between 14 and 15. So you can list down the perfect square, so it will be easy for you to uh, determine what are the perfect squares before and after the given non-perfect square. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.